All right, this video is going to talk about a new wave phenomenon that we have not yet talked about called diffraction. So what do waves do? We've talked about the fact that waves reflect, they bounce off of boundaries. We've talked about the fact that waves refract, they change direction when they're entering a slower or faster medium. But we have not yet talked about the fact that waves diffract. That's our third wave phenomenon that we need to understand. And diffraction is the bending around corners and narrow openings. You know um, at some level in your gut that waves diffract already because when I am talking, you might be able to hear me around the corner because the pressure waves in the air from my voice diffract around the corner and then end up in your eardrum. So what is diffraction? Here's some pictures of waves doing some diffracting. On the left is a schematic, on the right is a photograph. So here we have the, it's a wave coming in. That's what the red is here, it's an incoming wave. And then this rectangle is the barrier. And when this wave encounters this barrier, it doesn't just block the bottom half of the wave, but the top half of the wave, once it makes it to the other side, starts to bend around. So we see images like this of water waves, that water waves, once they hit a barrier, tend to bend around like we're seeing here. Here's more images of waves diffracting. I really like this image here. Um, didn't spring to pay for the uh, stock photo to get rid of the watermarks. Doesn't really matter for us. But we can see we have this slit here, um, this narrow opening. And as the water waves are incident on this narrow opening, they start bending around the barrier here and start spreading out and making these circular patterns. More images of light or water waves diffracting. And in particular, I want us to pay attention to these images because they're what happens when these water waves are incident upon a small opening, uh, which we will call a slit in the context of light. Um, and when that happens, we get these half circle patterns leaving that slit. So we have that here on the left. We can see incoming rays or incoming waves. They diffract out to give these half circle patterns. And the image on the right, we have the same thing. Incoming rays make these half circle patterns. Our incoming waves make these half circle patterns as they head out. Got an animation of that idea on the next slide. Um, plane waves incident on a slit will diffract and bend in such a way that the outgoing wave is circular. So on the left, we have incoming plane waves. These waves are coming in. All Each crest is parallel to the successive crest uh, and the one that comes next. We come across this small barrier. The waves diffract. They bend around the barrier, and that bending creates the circular pattern on the other side. So that's wave diffraction. And wave diffraction is gonna to lead to all sorts of really interesting light phenomenon.